All right. Hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm Bob. Welcome to my talk. Uh, I'm going to give a talk today on practicing with HTB Academy. This is a beginner's guide. Although anyone can learn from this, I do think beginners will get the most out of it. So I'm Bob. Again, I'm a husband, a dad, an educator, content creator, and a training developer here at HTB Academy. Um, I consider myself a technologist because I'm very interested in all kinds of technologies. I like, you know, I like to see where the future is going, but I, I particularly am passionate about and spend most of my time thinking about IT and security. I, I got my start really doing networking stuff and your typical help desk, and I just found my way into system administration and security and content creation now. So uh, I do consider myself an educational connoisseur. I will forever be a student uh, so long as I'm alive. Uh, I, I also am very picky when it comes to education. I think that everyone deserves a really high quality education at an affordable cost. Um, and even when I'm buying something or uh, going through a free resource, I'm always very critical of of that resource. So I'm, I'm glad to be a part of a, a, a company that is really focused on building the materials because I, I can... I can I can build with quality. So um, I want to start by talking about our our industry a little bit. This security, uh, bug bounty hunting, penetration testing, system administration, and IT. And I, I by the way, I do believe that IT should be approached with a security perspective because the the threats continue to grow and grow daily. So I think of IT and security. I think especially security really as a sp as a sport. I mean, it, it really is. It's like soccer. It's like basketball. It's, and it's especially like mixed martial arts. You know, as you can see the lady on the far right of the screen there, you know, punching the bag, you know, a uh, boxers and, and, and fighters, they, they have to study their opponents to have an advantage and in security, isn't it? It's all about protecting against malicious actors and, and, and people with skills acting, in a malicious way against networks and trying to steal data and, and cause harm. We have to understand how they work in order to uh, stop them. So a lot of the times we have to study the, the tactics and the techniques and the procedures that they use. So um, I, I think it's, it's a very important thing to be mindful of as you're, as you're learning and as you continue to grow is just keep that in a perspective of, of why you're doing this is typically to secure you know, even if you're on the offensive side of it, you know, I, I like the offensive perspective just as much as many people do, but it's really to inform the defensive side. So keep keep that in mind as you learn. So I'm, I want to get hands on. I'm going to get straight into it and, and talk about the, the topic today and, and really specifically a tool that you can use to continue learning in a way that is is, is a little bit different. So. What I'm, of course, talking about is uh, Hack the Box Academy. If you've ever heard of Hack the Box Academy, that's the side of Hack the Box that's a little bit more guided. Um, it has uh, walkthroughs, but it, it's written as if it's every individual topic is a course, right? And we call those courses modules. And what I wanted to, to talk about here is really how you're how you can see Academy in, in a perspective that you can use as you use it, if you choose to use it. I know some of you might have heard of it. Maybe some of you haven't. So obviously you're, you're going to be connected to it in the browser. A lot of training solutions are going exclusively to the browser. But sometimes in the beginning stages, when you start to use a platform like this, you may be, you may be a bit you may be a bit um, confused as to where you are, right? When you, because you know you're interacting with VMs and you're in the cloud, but you're also on your computer. So there's factors to consider there. So of course you're on the site on your computer through a browser, normally through your router, whether it's wireless or wired in, over the internet to the academy network environment. And this is where I'll I'll come back to this this slide a few times, but I do want to show you. Um, Academy. So here, this is Academy. I'm inside of the Windows Fundamentals module. So I'll show you what it looks like from, you know, from the the beginning of the module. We can go back to modules and, and we can see that there's many different 
categories of modules. We have fundamental, easy, medium, and hard from a difficulty perspective, and we, we categorize those into tiers. We have many free modules. So if this is something where you don't want to immediately you know, spend money on it, you want to try it out, uh, many of our tier zero fundamental modules are free. So um, we have uh, we, we write our modules from the perspective of offensive, defensive, or general. You'll see a bit of each sprinkled throughout. So if you're doing like a defense-focused module, it'll definitely be about protecting the environment or protecting the system. Uh, but we will talk about offensive because naturally you have to know, again, going back to that concept of it's kind of like a sport, we have to understand the offensive tactics to defend against. So a lot of the modules and very popular are the offensive ones because we show certain attacks you can use, password cracking attacks, you know, how to enumerate systems, how to, you know, log, brute force logins, how to escalate privileges. There's so many different offensive tactics that you can use and learn. But I want to show you, just give you an example, is a, one of our fundamental modules, Windows Fundamentals. I, I'm a co-author on this module. Uh, Mr. Ben is the main creator. He had the main vision for it. I've, I added a few things in here I thought would be good. And uh, you can see it's formatted a lot like a course, right? Uh, our term module can really be interpreted as a, a mini course. And every module is break, broken down into sections. And, and each section is like what what we think is a small piece of the overall topic of what you need to know, for example, about Windows fundamentals. Like, what does it mean to know the fundamentals of Windows? And this is what we believe to be the, the, the imp very important concepts when it comes to first learning about Windows. But keep in mind, this talk isn't about Windows. It's more so about how you can use this platform to learn various topics. One of those topics could can be Windows. So you enter in, you have to unlock the module. This one's this one in particular is a module you can typically get for free, especially if you're new to the platform. You spend some cubes on it and, and you can unlock it and get in. So you, you, you'll have some cubes when you start off, even if you've never used it before. So I'm going to show you an example of how this would work. You can think of Academy as a book, but it's more than that. It's, it's a book with labs built into it. So as you're reading these concepts and, and you're learning and you're, 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 you're figuring out, for example, how the Windows command line works when you're exploring directories, you know, you're, you're able to practice with this. And I'll show you the options that you have to practice with it. And, and we'll flip back over to my slide and my diagram I have here. So this is to me where Academy really shines is for each section that you do and, and for the interactive sections that you do, you will you will find yourself having the option to interact with a browser or a browser based VM, or really it's a VM that's accessible through the browser. So like you can see when I start the instance here, it's actually spawning a virtual machine on the back end that you're able to fully interact with in, inside of the browser, just like on the, the base hack the box site, if you're doing hacking labs or pro labs, you're able to work from within the browser. The other thing that's interesting is you can actually download a VPN key and use your own box. But I personally, I personally use this is what, what we call the pwn box because it doesn't really matter where I am. I don't have to worry about the impacts my attack may have on the, the network that I'm connecting from. I'm just on hack the boxes environment. I'm low risk. I can do these attacks against these target machines uh, without worrying about you know, bringing anything serious down, right? I can just exclusively practice what I want and try different techniques and do different uh, research methods, right? So I'll show you kind of how to think about this. You know that if you had a VM on your computer or on your network somewhere, your laptop, wherever it's running, you would tunnel in from that system, right? So you would download that VPN key. It would connect you onto Academy's network. And you would see that via a VPN IP address. Um, but again, there's an issue that can come with, with those. And there's some different caveats you can consider. First is your bandwidth. If, if you have a low bandwidth connection and you're on a local machine, you may have some issues in connection, right? Um, some, some attacks can have a negative impact on your, your network if you're conducting them from your network. So um, if you're using Pwnbox, 
that, you know, that's not really a concern because you're using the resources that we have, that we manage, we're, we're, and we're ongoing, we're updating Pwnbox on an ongoing basis. This is a paired OS that Pwnbox runs. And you're, you're already on the network, so you don't have to worry about any network issues in between normally um, or anything that's allowed to leave or, or stay within a network. Um, so the target boxes also spawn on, their, uh, on a network on Academy. So whether it's a Linux box or in this case a Windows box, you just select this button down here and you spawn the box. You'll notice this is also doing the same thing that happened when I hit start instance. It's sending a signal to a hypervisor, and that hypervisor starts up, um, and, and it, it runs on the network. It gets an IP address, and you can see that here in a, in a few seconds, you'll see that target is spawning in green down here. You'll see that turn into an IP address, and that will be the IP of your target. I personally use um, Pwnbox uh, here on Academy through a full screen. So you see when you hit full screen, it, it opens up another tab and you can work from within a full screen as if this machine was, you know, or this, as this is virtual machine was on your environment. You can just do what you need to do from here. It even shows your VPN IP up here. And, um, you know, I'm going to go back and check and see if that target spawned. You see the target has spawned. So now I would actually be able to do what the section is asking me to. I could try all the different commands. And, and, and here's what a lot of people like about it is you go down here and you can see the challenges and you may have one challenge or you may have multiple challenges, but most of them are going to require that you are either really closely paying attention while you were reading or that you actually can perform what was taught. And that's the big part here is being able to perform everything that you learned, right? Because when you go into interviews, if you're a beginner and you haven't gotten a position yet, or you're trying to get a new position or get better at one you're already in, it's all, really all about skills. And, and, you know, credentials matter, but skills, skills are even more important. You know, skills pay the bills, if you will. Um, so uh, what's cool about this, it's kind of different from if like I, I grabbed a textbook, right? I have a textbook here, you know, open it up. And I started reading this textbook. I could develop perspective from this textbook and I could say, hmm, that's, that's possible. I know that's possible now. I know the terminology, but I didn't really get to practice inside this book, right? Like I can't dive into this book or remote into this book and do, do, you know, what it's telling me is possible, right? I have to take the, the author's word for it. And I'm sure the author is right, but I still didn't get to experience that lesson. That's the big benefit I think about Academy and really uh, Hack the Box in general is, you know, you're able to experience some of these terms. You're able to experience some of these concepts that you might be reading about in, in a textbook or in, in any book. And don't get me wrong. I like books. I still read books, but I see where this has a really a different benefit than just reading the book because it, it has both. It's a little more comprehensive. So I'm in the browser here. I'm able to connect. And for this particular lesson, um, you can you can launch a cheat sheet, which some books are literally written with a, just a whole a whole book of commands. Right. It's not it's it's not a whole lot of teaching. It's like all a bunch of commands. Right. And that's that's not bad. Some people use that when they're out on an engagement or they're they're doing things in their workday you know, to secure an environment, whether it's in the cloud or, or in a local network. And, and they just use the commands because they know what the commands do. But, but if, if you're, you know, if you're just learning from scratch or you want to learn the topic and have a good understanding of it, you know, you, you want to be able to practice with it. So these, these commands in this cheat sheet can also help you even after, like, let's say you're done with the module, you finished it, you can say, come back to this and just have this listed. You can use these as some notes, right? So with this particular um, challenge, I know we've got to connect to the, the target. And we're going to use a, a, a command line based tool called XFreeRDP to use the remote desktop protocol to connect to the Windows box. So, you know, it, here's another cool feature is like if you're copying and pasting commands into poem box from your computer you can use or or vice versa you can use this clipboard option down here 
And, you know, since I'm on, on, on a Mac, it has a different way of managing memory. It's a security thing. So I have to do this. And a lot of times you can just copy and paste in. Like if you're running Windows right now, you could copy and paste directly in without using the clipboard. But I like to use the clipboard. So what I'm going to do here is I'm in this command, I'm going to fill out the information, right? So I'm, I'm going to connect in using the IP, which I'm going to have to go back and check what that was. 129.83.91. And then the password, right? The username and password for that box, which they give, which you give away right there in the challenge questions. So, you know, it's done here, right? I copy that and I paste it right here into the terminal and it'll connect me to that device. Let's see here. What did I do? Oh, I, I forgot this. It's right here. So you'll notice connected to the Windows box, right? And this is where this is a basic gist of how it works. That's that's really a simple example. We could do a, a number of things, you know, scan it with Nmap, see what services were open, um, see open the browser of on Pwnbox and and try to navigate to the IP, see if it's a web server. And in all the things we do here, we can experiment. It's like we're in our own personal lab with our attack box and our target box that we can we can practice with and, and, and access. And, and this is it's just a different way of learning. You know, it's it's a little bit more active. Right. So you're instead of, you know, the more relaxed approach and passive learning is good. But being being more of a passive learner, you, you aren't actively doing it. You're, you're building perspective, which I'll say matters. But when you get into the, the thick of it, it's really about can you do that? thing that you're saying you can do so if you if you're able to put some experience behind it it's a good thing like let's say you're in an interview and they ask you questions about windows or they ask you questions about linux you can think back to some of the the modules you've done in hack the box maybe even show it right and say you know this is these are some of the things i've done i have experience within within a lab environment working with windows or you know, pen testing windows or doing file sharing in windows. Cause we do a little bit of that here in this windows fundamental section. And that's like a core skill for a lot of not just security professionals, but also just your, your general it professional who's, who's, you know, doing help desk, you know, you can get skills all the way from help desk to system administration and you're experiencing those lessons um, you, you, you're, you're the, ch the real value to me is like the, the challenge that you're getting. And, and the, then of course, an environment built around that challenge that, that can really help you excel and, and help you get a job or help, help you excel within a job. Because we even have people who aren't just beginners. We have people who, who are, have been doing this for a while telling us, for example, with this module, there was a system administrator, someone who had had much experience doing it doing administration of windows systems who went through this and they said they learned some some tips and tricks so we we try to write it for all different types of skills levels whether you've been whether you've never done it or you have done it but you've only done it certain ways so you can gain different perspectives by by doing this you know it's you could even use it at work right like so like if you're if you've done the lesson and, you know, maybe you're in engagement, you come across an issue that you actually or a, a, a target that you actually recognize that you've used Hack the Box for, you could go back to the module, check out the cheat sheet and say, hmm, yeah, oh, OK, I remember that that command or I remember those series of commands. So it's it's I, I, I believe in the platform. Of course, I have a little bit of bias since I work here and I help to work on it. I, I just I, I truly believe that it can help you in a different way than the traditional, traditional approach. And, and you can combine it. So if you're in school, you know, you can, you can use this and school cause it's, it's pretty fairly priced. Uh, I will say when you're launching pone box that um, you have limited spawns of pone box uh, when you're doing, when you're in the free tier, or if you haven't spent any money on cubes, but you can just buy any amount of cubes and it will, it will give you unlimited spawns of pwn box. You know, if you say I absolutely don't ever want to get cubes, you know, and you want to stay in those tier zero uh, modules, you can download that VPN key and connect. But again, I, I strongly recommend using pwn box. It's a, 
it's an awesome tool and, and, and Academy overall is awesome. So if you, if you have any questions about Academy or about anything I talked about today, feel free to join in on the discord. I think that being on, being on discord is such a, a wonderful thing. Cause if you have questions about anything, your career, you know, skills, Academy, hack the box in general, you can ask questions in there. And somebody eventually will get to that question, right? They'll see it. And, and, and you may be able to form connections and, and, you know, you may be able to, you know, connect with the next person you'll work with on a project or at a company. So uh, thank you for listening to my talk today. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your conference. Um, keep learning and, and just continue to believe in your ability to learn. You can learn anything that you that you have a desire to learn right? Keep in mind that no one was, was born with that knowledge. They, they earned it somewhere along the way. So uh, keep learning. Bye.